Our client is a 52-year-old female with a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis. Some general symptoms include difficulty walking, fatigue, tingling and numbness, and emotional and mental health changes. She also has peripheral neuropathy, so we need to be sure to check the numbness and tingling generally in her hands and feet. She also presents with hypertension and has an abnormal gait which causes her to use a walker. She is very motivated to get back to doing what she loves to do, like cooking, walking her dog, and going on nature walks. So some precautions that the therapist should consider due to the client having MS and peripheral neuropathy is the fatigue and the weakness, numbness, and pain in the hands and feet. Um, she also has hypertension, so we need to make sure she's taking her blood pressure and taking the necessary um, breaks that she needs. She has a um, abnormal gait pattern and we need to make sure that she's walking in the walker properly with good posture. Um, she feels unstable walking, so we need to make sure we have constant um, contact guard. She could have muscle spasticity due to the MS, and she does have painful muscle contractions. All right, we're gonna go over your medical history. Um, what's your quality of sleep, do you think, per night? Um, in terms of hours, maybe six. I feel like in terms of quality, it's not too bad. I do get up and like toss and turn a lot um, just because I get like muscle cramps in the middle of the night, but overall it's not terrible. So with pain, is it only at night or is it all the time? Um, it's intermittent throughout the day. On a scale of one to 10, how bad could it possibly be? Um, at its worst, I'd probably say a seven, but on average it's probably around like a four or five. It's just like weakness and like sore. So you take the muscle relaxers and it helps with that? Yeah. Okay, um, have you had any falls recently? No, I haven't fallen, um, but you know, like I mentioned previously, I do feel unsteady sometimes, so the walker definitely does help. Okay. So are you currently on any medications? I do take medicine um, for high blood pressure, and I also have a muscle relaxer that I take. And how often do you take those? I take it around once a day, but the muscle relaxers I do take as necessary. Okay. How about exercise, and how, if so, how often? I used to exercise a lot because I like to walk my dog and go hiking, but because of the fatigue and just how sore my muscles are, I can't exercise as frequently anymore, um, but I would love to get back to doing that and getting able to get up and moving around. Have you ever thought about water exercises? No, I haven't, but now that you bring that up, that would be a good idea. They're great for MS clients. Oh, I'm gonna have to try that. So do you experience any stress? Yeah, a lot. Uh, so what do you do to participate in stress relieving activities? I used to go on nature walks and walk my dog, but because of the walker and just like the fatigue, it, I find it really hard to get up and get moving a lot. Um, I like to watch TV, but that doesn't really help with reducing the stress. Okay, um, are you open to new resources to promote wellness? Yeah, absolutely. I just am not really sure what's quite available to me. Do you incorporate any modalities in your life to deal with pain and stress, such as ice packs, heating, um, essential oils, and things like that? Yeah, I do use ice and heat whenever my muscles are flaring up just to help calm them down, but other than that, I don't really use anything. Okay. So how is your balance? It's okay. I feel a little unsteady whenever I get up into the walker and I'm walking around, but I've had this for a while and it really does help me, but sometimes I am like unsure of myself. Okay, does this impact your day-to-day -day functioning? Um, I would say yes, just because I do want to get up and get around and get moving. I love to cook, so sometimes when I'm in the kitchen, like I just get a little nervous that I might fall over. Okay, so I'm going to have you demonstrate how you use your walker. I'm going to put this gate belt on you for safety, and then we'll have you start walking. Okay.
So you mentioned um, earlier you like to cook, but you have some difficulty with that. Can you show me some of the things you have problems with? Yeah, of course. Okay. So, I can get up. Um, so, something like this tall shelf, I like have a very hard time trying to get to. Okay. Um, so, I usually ask like my husband for help. Um, that's also for shelves like that down there. Um, but then if we come over here, something like this, I'm able to reach and open. Um, but like plates like that, I got rid of in my house just because they're a little too heavy for me. So I got something a little bit lighter um, so I can pull down. So the plastic ones work better for you? Yeah. So how are you feeling after that walk? I'm a little tired. You need to take a little break? Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna practice your breathing right now. Okay. You're gonna go in your nose. Okay. And breathe into your belly. And then we're gonna let it out of your mouth. And while you're doing that, I'm just gonna go over some things I saw in our kitchen. So because of your um, difficulties reaching up in the cabinets, if you're up for it, we're gonna take some measurements. Okay. Um, I like that you have taken the initiative to take out the glass plates and get the plastic ones, but maybe we can uh, incorporate some assistive devices in to help you and put less stress on your body. Okay. So you're feeling okay? Yeah. Uh, can you bring your arms up to the sky as far as you can? Okay, mm -hmm. can you bring them out to the side? Mm -hmm. Can you bring them out back to the front and flat for me? Can you give yourself a hug? Alright, I see some difficulties with that, so I'm going to go ahead and do your measurement. Okay. Can you stretch your arms? Go ahead, as far as you can. Is that as far as you can go? Yeah. So what I gained from this session is your 52-year-old woman with MS, you have difficulty walking long distances due to the fatigue, cooking, and reaching things in the cabinets are hard for you due to your weakness. So we're going to incorporate a reacher into the next sessions as an assistive device. We've created a home exercise plan which we went over with the hand stretches and the arm stretches in order to help gain strength and endurance to complete the activities of daily living that you enjoy. Um, we also recommend that you see physical therapy as well in order to focus on strengthening of your legs and work on walking properly with a walker. Right now you're at a low risk of falling, but we may need to continue monitoring it. And one other thing I would recommend is um, with looking in your chart, I noticed that you have peripheral neuropathy. And with the numbness that this causes you, sores and cuts could form, and we want you to be aware of that. So um, this may cause infections, and we're going to provide you with an extendo mirror to help monitor this. Perfect. Thank you. For this home exercise plan, we recommend for our client to participate in upper extremity stretches such as the cross arm stretch and shoulder flexion. Since the client has limited range of motion, we will have her husband help her and we will also help her in the clinic. In addition to the upper extremity stretches, we have sent her home with some wrist and hand stretches and hope to integrate some water walking soon.